have some Metroid lore in the past randomizer. Seen specified or shown on the stream. I just had to really quickly edit the Lua timer to hard code the current time, so apologize for the delay in starting streaming. Really quickly start the timer and then let's get going. Basically, I'm doing this because the world is on fire and video games are something I can control. I kind of feel like I need that as a coping mechanism right now, so away we go. Where last we left off, I had basically torn through two-thirds of both the Light World and Dark World in Hyrule and have done almost nothing over in Super Metroid. I said last time I'd be spending some time in Super Metroid, and that is definitely exactly where I'm going next. Make sure that my controller is actually working. Excellent. So, uh, next place I'm going to be going is uh, back to Super Metroid to Criteria. There's a bunch of stuff that's going to make my life over in Metroid a lot easier that uh, you might have seen at the end of the last stream. At the top of the tunnel in Criteria, there was a pair of uh, items at the end of what's called the Gauntlet, um, one of them being the high jump boots, and that's going to be the next place that I go. <laughs> Which means that I have to get down off of the Death Mountain. I have to get over here to where the warp tile is in next to Kakariko Village. No, wait, what am I talking about? I have to go to the Fortune Teller's hut right here. Let's go do that. There is a bunch more open to me right now on Death Mountain, especially on the uh, um, Dark World side, but I'm kind of tired of being here right now. I want to go visit Metroid for a while. And this time around, I actually do have my chat room open on my tablet next to my computer, so if you wanted to talk to me over on uh, the Twitch chat, go for it. Uh, I will probably not drop everything to use the keyboard on my tablet. But uh, I'll at least try to answer you here in real time for posterity for people viewing at home, I should probably actually tell you what uh, people are saying in the Twitch chat when I answer them. I am not a speedrunner, I am not an expert gamer, I am just somebody playing these games for fun because of nostalgia and because, like I said, the world is on fire, everybody wants to murder everybody. Life sucks. Video games are controllable. So now we're in Metroid. We've already gotten a decent start on Metroid. Uh, Kraid was defeated. 
pretty much everything that I have in the Metroid side of things right now, I obtained over in Legend of Zelda. Uh, so almost nothing is completed on this side. I did go through some of Brinstar. Now, I'm going to have to infinite bomb jump to get up there. Might not be able to get up there just yet. Uh, there's a flat piece of land, of uh, wall, some way up that wall, that is accessible via bomb, that is theoretically open as soon as you've obtained a bomb, which I do. But it's not particularly easy to get to if uh, if you're not very well equipped. I really want those high bo high jump boots, though. could infinite bomb jump my way up. I think that was already an impressive enough uh, display of my skills with a Z. And yes, by the way, I'm Canadian. That's why the handle lousy Canuck. So I will say Z unapologetically. Um, I know that there's something up here that probably will take speed booster to get to. I'm not going to be able to single wall jump my way up because there's that uh, little overhang and it's only two, two tiles each. So I am kind of thinking about infinite bomb jumping. Because, like I said, I really want that item. Sorry if this is boring. Or frustrating. The trick to infinite bomb jumping is to always drop your bomb just a couple of ticks above where your last one will explode. A couple of pixels. And the timing is pretty regular. It has a little bit of forgiveness. Not much, though. wall here doesn't have anything that's really distinguishing about it, except for the fact that you can bomb halfway up it. Okay. Now we enter the gauntlet. This is actually a fairly uh, difficult area. It's called the gauntlet specifically because it's got a lot of things that'll hurt you real bad. Luckily, we already have screw attack and wave beam, which will make things easier. However, I have to tell you, Oh. Easier does not mean easy. Like so. I 
don't have enough power bombs to do a crystal flash right now. I probably should have saved coming into the room. I'm going to save now. The fact that this lava is all the way up here in Criteria, up above ground, is very interesting. It's obviously here because, you know, they wanted to make it hard, not because there's any sensible reason for it. Oh, and there's an actual energy tank here. This is what's supposed to be here. That'll refill me, so I can save. And now, go down in here. If I can do it safely after these, this lava is passed. Well, I can't do it safely, but I can at least get through. Let's save again. Those are bombable, by the way. Uh, you don't have to have the screw attack to get through them. That's right. That was a fake out. Here's where things get really interesting. You can actually get both sides of this without having to go through twice if you're really careful about how you step. And I am just so not. Ugh. Eh, forget it. I'll go through twice. It's fine. Well, no, if I'm going to go through twice, I should get the high jump first to make it easier for me. Now I'll save. And then resume cheating. Why can I not? Eh. Go away. I had accidentally pressed the mode button on my uh, controller, which switches it to use the... Wait, what? I already have the Titan Men. Why is it giving it to me again? Ugh, did I break my save game somehow? It's like my worst fear in playing this game is the fact that it's, you know, not exactly standard. jump boots. I have the four reserve tanks marked. I have myself listed as having five energy tanks. Is it possible that I loaded an old saved game here? Ooh, that's worrisome. Let me really quickly check where I ended off my last stream. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I accidentally loaded the save from the end of my first stream where I had just defeated the Tower of Hera. Alright, let's be a bit more careful this time. Just check all the... I think this is it. Hmm. 
Well, I do have the Titan map. Dark world right now. Two fairies. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna jump back over to the light world. Make my way down to Metroid. Then you'll get to see me do that whole sequence again. Sorry, folks. I'm keeping the timer running, though. Oh, yeah. Forged sword, not master sword. And the red. It's the blue. save over that uh, slot zero, because whoopsie doopsie. I am unfortunately still going to have to do the infinite bomb jump to get back up. I go a long way around. Oh well. That makes a bit more sense. The hazards of live streaming with multiple save states, folks. Still haven't gone down and seen the uh, Terizo, the statue where you're supposed to get the bombs. Uh, judge how far I should be. That's about right. Basically, you just want to bomb your way up. Whoa, that was too high. You want to bomb your way up to that first ledge. And then you can bomb your way up to the second the hole on the flat piece. I believe there are trainer uh, programs that teach you the exact timing you need for this. But really, once you get it, it's just a rhythm. You don't want to get excited and 
veer left too early because you can't actually start moving left until the top of your jump. In case you're wondering, the game does actually teach you about these techniques at some point. But they are by no means necessary to complete the game. They're only necessary if you really want to get items early. Uh, in vanilla, I believe the two things at the end of this gauntlet are missiles, so they're not exactly urgent. can't remember if a super missile will take these guys down. It will. That'll make life easier in a sec. And this time I'm actually going to be smart and save. Oof. Ow. spring ball too. It's possible to start your infinite bomb jump way higher if you have spring ball, but I don't have that kind of time. Practicing that is not among my skill set. Let's make it easy by using a power bomb. Oh, oh I did that way wrong save here. <laughs> Do you still have a full set of reserve tanks? See if I can hit it this time. There we go. Okay. What's next on our agenda? Let's go over to that Torizo, the Chozo statue that comes to life and forces you to fight it with bombs. I should probably mark off that I have the high jump boots, huh? Let me do that real quick. And 
And then, in theory, I can go and take on Fantoon. Who is in the wrecked ship to the right of Criteria, where you first land. could also pick up a bunch of stuff that's still sort of sitting in uh, Brinstar. I think Fantoon is going to be my next target. I should pick up some energy from those guys. <laughs> oh, this this statue is about to get wrecked. I don't have the charge beam, but just break that off. One problem with the. Uh web-based tracker that I'm using right now is the fact that you have to have two tabs open for the maps for Zelda Length of the Past and Super Metroid, but it's not a huge problem. <laughs> Should I take him on with a wave phaser? Yeah. I'll just take all of your stuff. <laughs> Later, guy. Oh man, that was a one-sided battle. this point I'll just take the victories where they come. I was trying to get through the dark world blind area dungeon in the thieves town. There's almost no hearts and almost no items. With two hidden sticks to my name. I don't know what I was even trying. Yeah, I want to go. I wanted to go to wrecked ship now. Let's go see the wrecked ship. Because of the way Fantoon works, it's possible if you get hit by multiple of his uh, fireballs, you'll take forty health. Per fireball, because it doesn't care that you are in a get hit state. We'll just continue to wreck your shit. I'll come back for the stuff on the bottom. What? Didn't let me actually open that door. Okay, now as I recall, there is something down here. Just a missile. 
Mark it off anyway, though. I am going for 100%. that off, mark that off, and next stop is actually into Fantoon's ship. Is it Fantoon's ship? I think Fantoon just took over. I don't know. Wow, that was an overuse of Rabon. It was two overuses of Rabon, mind you. I hardly feel like I need to do this, considering I've got the high jump. But it's fun. I like to grapple. Ooh, there's bugs. I'm so spooky. I'm spooked. save point won't work, because there's no power. Actually, be able to get anywhere over here, but it's always worth a try. Plus, I'm getting energy for it. I thought those might break down once you've uh, once you've killed all the enemies in the area, but apparently they are power doors. <laughs> oh, I have a vague recollection of something being available over there. power. Might be here, come to think of it. Uh. I'm going to try every one of these damn blocks. <laughs> Might also be that I have to bomb them, so... I'll look at the map later. Now, for fighting a Fantoon, as I recall, you should be aware and that using a super missile, while it'll do more damage, it will also enrage him. And 
he'll start throwing out those spiral shots real quick. Devastatingly quick. So it's probably not the best idea. Instead, I'm going to try first with the wave and plasma. Should make it real easy to get rid of those fireballs. See if it does him any damage while he's vulnerable. Nope, doesn't seem to. Alright. Get a few hits in. Use some fireballs to recover some. Probably losing more than recovering, though. Probably, I can say mathematically, a certainty. Save. I think I'm doing so great here. I'm gonna use that item cancel button. Full energy tank. That's right. Whoa, I did not want to have my suits out there. By the way, I've been seriously considering doing more streaming. Probably stream some uh, city skylines, uh, No Man's Sky. Just chill games that I like to play. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. Exploded. Oh no. Let me check to make sure that my state was not reverted. No, it was. I'm gonna have to load. also means I have to be a lot more careful right here. Save now. Got lots of missiles, I should just use them to tank against those fireballs. Whoops, I just accidentally hit load state. That was not actually what I wanted to do.
save. I don't want to lose this progress. I was a fool and didn't actually save at uh, Samus's ship. Yes, yes, okay. Whew. I will gladly take all of this stuff. I will s load. <laughs> okay, I can do this, I can do this. This is my punishment for for using save states in the first place. Now I'm going to save. Spoilers for Undertale, that was a bit like the... Uh, Flowey fight. Only I was the one who was safe scumming. Not Flowey. So I totally deserved getting my ass handed to me. Which way do I want to go first? Alright, over there is the map room. It doesn't matter. do want to get this. Just 50 rupees, but oh well. Nope, don't want to be here. Want to go save first. Actually, going to backtrack all the way to Samus' ship so I can recover all my stuff. Uh, do I really want to? Not really short much on stuff, just energy. I'm grind these guys for energy. Way. Save it because, as I recall, this is actually quite difficult. I don't think this is the place I was thinking of. This is not the super difficult place. the time. 
check out that video screen in the background showing a wavy close-up of a Metroid. Dun dun dun. Now, this will take me up on top of an area with a few more items. It should be fairly easy to get between high jump boots and spring ball. Mushroom. Ah, no. Ah. <laughs> uh, that sucked. I don't even know if the mushroom trade is going to be worth it. I have no idea what the witch is going to have in return for it. But we'll see. Where's the other guy? Oh heck, I might have screwed myself over there. Oh well. Let's go get some other items. It's just a bomb. Some bombs. Downward, there's a crumble block that takes you back to the beginning. Uh, let's go fill in some map squares, I guess, while I'm down here. Yes, this is why I why I'm down here. It's not because I suck. That's a whole other matter, the fact that I suck. Wonder if I can get up that way. <laughs> Not like that, I can't. Oh, wall jump doesn't really work underwater. have to say we when you grapple. We. actually update my tracker. I have defeated Fantoon. My missiles up to date? No, they are not. Uh, 
All I got just now were bombs. Where else could I theoretically get to in Metroid right now? Oh, I'm missing a bunch. All right, I'm gonna climb back down this staff, this uh, shaft. And there is apparently. I was right to remember that there was something in the shaft. With uh, with the item set that I have, I could actually theoretically get past uh, this place where I noped out of real quick. Um, but the next room is actually kind of terrible. It's uh, full of spikes. Okay, so it's not that wall. This wall. Right. I'm gonna save because there's a lot of really damaging stuff here. Look at you two that are Metroids instead of instead of those little glowy balls. Why do I feel like there's also something past here? I should look at the map. Nope, guess not. to the left part. I've not been to the left part, just above that. for 10 arrows. And this is why I probably should go back to Samus's ship. Let's 
Let's go back to Samus's ship now. Extra careful because one hit will kill me. Don't believe this res this refills my reserve tanks. Oh, I guess it does. That's good. All right. What's left for me to get over there? place I noped out of. There is what's called the bowling alley, which I believe has a requirement I don't have. Uh, I need to go and get that mushroom. Oh, the bowling alley is a reserve tank that requires a speed booster to get. But I can get through. And get different items. Alright. Less planning, more playing. squares, honestly. <laughs> so now we climb back to the top of the wrecked ship. Get back up to the 
next year. I should say well in a year. First things first, I know there's a place down here. I should be going into it. Not the place that I want to be, I guess. Speed boosters. You have to speed boost through that. Damn it. Okay. Guess I can't get you yet. Very silly. Just be patient, Jason. Calm and save. Yeah, I'm gonna ride this guy all the way back. Because I can just sort of stand here and shoot. Let him carry me one pixel into the thing. And I'll pick it up automatically. No, that didn't work.
nice thing about those guys is that if they're not close enough to be on screen, they don't move. This time I will be smart, I will shoot, and then I will spring ball. There we go. That's a bit better. Sorry about that, folks. why they call this the bowling alley. What you're supposed to do here. Roll into a ball. And the Chozo statue activates. He doesn't actually go bowling with you though. Which is a shame, because it would be hilarious. I will be going through that door in a moment. I'm going to get an upgrade for the shield. And for some reason, I think there's something else in here. else that requires the speed booster. I don't think I can get through even if I wall jump. Oh well. At least I got the red shield. This is normally where you get the gravity suit. Here I got a missile instead worth it. Pause and update my tracker. Okay, still have a bunch left that I can do in Metroid. If 
feel like I'm going to have to take on that spike challenge of death that I noped out of a while ago. Um, I don't want to spoil myself on what any of the items are, though. But if it turns out that that's speed booster or something like that, something really important for progression, I'm going to hate myself for not getting it while I'm here. So again, I will just save. To the left is an exit that is one way back into... Uh, outside of the phant sh phantom ship. Ugh. I tried to move to the right. Get the obligatory wheeze. Wee. Wee. That was a short one. Here's the place I noped out of a while ago. And there's a couple of reasons I noped out of it. One being, I can't remember how the hell to get up there. I think I can wall jump once I'm out of the water. I think you're supposed to wait until you get the gravity boots, but... There we go. The gravity suit, I should have said. And here's where I noped out of, and why. Can you guess? Holy crap, I did it! No hit. <laughs> yeah, I'm saving. That was, that was too good. All right, so now we're on the other side of the phantom ship. The wrecked ship. It's not a phantom ship. It just has a guy named Fantoon in it. Ghosts don't reel, folks. So much fun re-exploring areas that have already been covered by scores of people, scores of times. It still makes me feel like an explorer. Grab 
helpful to those guys, I can't remember. Nope. I'm not going to be able to make it out of here. Uh... Well, that actually gave me wall jump sprite. Wasn't high enough to take advantage of it though. I did a wall jump there. Didn't help. This looks like an area that I'm basically not going to be able to do anything in until I get the gravity suit. Again, in the randomizer, the gravity suit just helps you with water and also damage reduction. Whereas the Varia suit is entirely responsible for protecting you from acid and lava and heat. guys. So the only way to get through that is to wall jump. Okay. No worries. So that just means we have to go back through the hell room when we have the gravity suit. Ah, no! Oh, I'm fucked. That especially. Again, without the gravity suit, this might be more trouble than it's worth, but it could actually have the gravity suit at the end. I don't know. Alright, let's try that again. I'm gonna load. You're gonna see a lot of that, folks. And instead it has the cane of Berna, Samaria. I think this is the one that makes blocks in Zelda. I bet there's something else here, too. Well, I'm gonna mark off the cane of Samaria. And the place where I got it.
And now I guess the next place I'll go is back to Blue Brinstar. Oh, there's also a missile in Criteria that I've missed. And there's a few places in Red Brinstar I haven't been. Or either I haven't been there or I haven't marked them off. Well, let's make a quick tour into that missile criteria. And then back to Red Brinstar via the elevator down that I skipped past. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Alright, I'm going to save so I can get this one map piece and hope my life lasts long enough. Huh, that was pretty slick looking. Guess where I have to go now. Ouch. Let me load and figure out if there's a better way to get back there. There is not, because I don't have the gravity suit, so I can't go to the right. Well. See if maybe there's a place I can reco recover a bit of energy here. I'm not going to recover any energy if I keep letting myself get hit. What? What did I actually get hit by there? I was on top of the thing. Alright, let's try this again. Let's try this again again. I'm certainly not doing as well the other way as I was the first time, am I? Thank <laughs> you. 
That room, 2 out of 10. Do not recommend. I could have just used regular morph bombs to get through that wall, but that would have taken longer. <laughs> but I'm not a speedrunner. supposed to be right underneath the safe room. I guess I already got that one. Oh, but I didn't check it off, so I should actually check to be sure, because maybe I was missing an item. I got it. Alright, this time I'm going to check it off my map, and this is why I should be more diligent about actually checking things off. Uh, and we're going to take the elevator down into Red Brinstar, which means we're going to climb back up toward the ship.
and in the middle of this room, there's a place you can shoot downward. Well, that's good to know that those guys give you power bombs. So I have a vague recollection of this place having a secret. That might be later. Oh no, it was the direction that you had to go to get to... Crade. Well, regardless, I am going to save because there's a few places that you could fall down here and not be able to get back up. And I'm just going to quickly double check my tracker. Missiles aren't quite right. Kind of looks like that's all I'm missing. Okay, so there's a few places up in this area that I can get items. There's also a few places that I can't get items, theoretically, until I get Speed Booster over in Blue Brinstar. Let me, let me start with what I can get. Oh no, a dead end. Whatever shall we do? Bomb the crap out of it. Super missile. I kind of wish I had the x-ray beam so I would stop using power bombs all the time. Mark this off on my tracker. Yeah, no, there's nothing else in here. Uh, so I return to the main shaft in this area, and then I crawl down. Sometimes high jump boots kind of suck for short corridors. are also guaranteed power bombs. Again, good to know. This is a place where I'm supposed to have an ice beam. Otherwise, it'll suck. And lo, it did suck. Gold sword, though. That's worth it. Mark this off on my tracker once again. Uh, 
Oh, but there's another thing here. <laughs> Space jump. Nice. Well, that gives me access to a lot of things. Good thing I checked the map. Oh! And this is what Space Jump does, by the way, in case you are not familiar with Metroid. There is some place to the right of here. No, there's not. I'm imagining things. But I do want to go to the left so that I can get to wrap around into Brinstar. Blue Brain Star is the uh, area right below the Criteria Elevator on this map. So you can uh, orient yourself. Not that there's anything wrong with one orientation versus another. I mean, except I suppose straight men. I'm not judging you for being a straight man. It's not your fault. If orientation was a choice, I'm sure you wouldn't be. I feel like I'm missing something here. Aside from missing the enemies. Ah. So now I get to pick up those items that I had skipped before because I didn't have the high jump boots. Oh, I think I actually missed an item back in Green Print Star. Underneath where I came in, blue. Go back and pick that up right quick. Thank you. 
heart piece. Mark that off. Now let's go back and get those items that I couldn't get while I didn't have the high jump boots. Uh, people are messaging me. I should probably check to see what that is. A moment, if you will. that isn't handled. Back this way. Wasn't sure if that was just power bomb or if you could get it without. It's a good thing I still had one left. So it was a quicker way of my handling those multiple screens at the same time. I can't think of any that don't involve an extra monitor, though. And unfortunately, I don't have the ah, poop buckets. I don't have the power bomb. Fortunately, I don't have the room where I'm streaming right now to set up another monitor. I will would. Well, I guess I could go back up to the ship, pick some more up. Or hope that any of the enemies between here and there drop some. Taste of your own medicine. I get a plasma beam now, too. Nah. Not that they were really particularly damaging in the early stages of the game, but you know.
to jump, Jason. And learn to shoot. As the toxic folk might say, get good. And while I'm refilling, take another look at my map. So apparently on the top right, there is a there's a place where I could theoretically get to. On the top right of this room. But I'm just not sure how to get there. I think maybe another infinite power bomb situation. but I am coming up on nearly the end of items that I can theoretically access right now in Metroid. So I may have to jump back over to Link to the Past in a bit. So I'm going to try getting that. Uh, what was normally a power bomb, on the top right of this room. Assuming that I'll have to power bomb from infinite power bomb, infinite bomb, morph bomb. From somewhere around here. This is gonna get really hard with the sky background parallaxing behind me. Should have been a bit further to the right, I guess. Compensate by going up pretty much to the top of the screen before holding right. Ah, okay. Thank you for bearing with me on that. Oh boy. This was a choice. An incorrect one. Well, I'm at 100 missiles now. I'm gonna mark that down. Also, I'm gonna make damn sure that I mark off that I've been here. Okay, I guess the last few places I can try to get are that place that I was just at, that I was going to powerbomb my way through, and a tiny area above it that will require a lot of careful wall jumps, space jumps, something jumps, I don't know. There's two missiles in a room called the Billy Mays room, because, but wait, there's more. The only way I'm supposed to be able to get to there is by using Speed Booster, but the tracker says it's open now, so I believe I should be able to make it without. I think it's just supposed to be easier if you have the Speed Booster. And then after that, I have to go back to The Legend of Zelda because that will be the end of all of the items that are accessible to me right now in Metroid.
that's the neat thing about this randomizer is that you have to check all the places that are available because you don't know what's going to give you the item you need to progress. Oh, I'm actually behind on my super missiles. Let me fix that. Alright. Do I want to go... Yeah, I want to go back to Blueprint Star. Save and then let's go. sure that I won't have a surprise while I'm There's an invisible floor up there. <laughs> 50 rupees and an energy tank. I'm not going to scoff at the energy tank. Really glad to have it, in fact. And I'm behind on them. I've marked those off. Now I'll mark them off on the map. And I guess we now have no choice but to go back over to Zelda. So, uh, where's the best place I can do that? Looks like I'll be going back up to Criteria and just jumping over there. Alright.
Boy, that would have been a soft lock place if I didn't have enough power bombs to get out. Oof. I would have had to intentionally have died. Or loved. I'm going to save. Of how old Turian reminds me of, but is probably not exactly like it used to be in the original Metroid. Note that I'm saying Turian, and that is how it's pronounced, even though I'm not saying Turian, the race from Mass Effect, you know, the race of Garrus. Space boyfriend. Mine included, I won't lie. Shepard, Garrus, and Tally. They were my team. So I'm going to save. Yes. And then I'm going to return to that shaft and jump back over to Zelda. Okay, I have the gold sword, fire shield. And I have a bunch of items I can get. Let's see where. So I can give the mushroom to the witch. I can visit Sasrila, which I still haven't done. a few places in the Dark World, up on Death Mountain especially. Oh, and it looks like I can also do all of the Swamp Palace and the Ice Cave. So let's pick up what we can in the Light World first. Double, double, toil and trouble. Bring me a mushroom. Now, because they both take up the same item slot, the powder and the mushroom are swappable in this run. Now that I've given it to her, nothing happens. Because in the base game, you're supposed to leave and come back. And 
and then she'll tell you to go and visit inside the hut. And it's a heart piece. I'm particularly scoffing at these because, you know, they're important. Oh, seems I've missed a few heart pieces. Uh, I've got four heart containers. You start with three, so that's seven. And then I've got one more than what it takes to make another container. So 13 should be right. Unless I missed my math on any of that. Which is absolutely possible because I am terrible at math. Okay. Visited the Witcher's Hut. Let's go see Sir Hasrilla. So on top of the supercut of me saying, ugh, I have to also do a supercut of me sucking at regular things, like uh, not being able to actually aim my sword toward a bush. Hi. Super missiles. Thanks. I'll knock that off. I mean, they're good to have. My basic choices are right now this floating island up on top of Death Mountain. There's the item down in Lake Hylia Island. And I think both of those were kind of inconsequential items when I went by them. Uh, so the next places I'm going to go are going to be in the Dark World. Um, I can go and pick up the purple chest at the Dark World's equivalent of the uh, blacksmith. Then I can go and take on the Swamp Palace and then the Ice Palace, I think in that order. catch that kid. I wonder what I'll give you for it.
<coughs> Excuse me. Hi, do you know VTorp? You really should. And all the other great guys who made this possible. Go thank them. If you can catch them. Nothing. He gave me nothing. Except for a shout out to a cre uh, to a dev. You know what? That's important. That's good. Thanks, Vitor. And all the other great guys who made this possible. Okay. There's the nearest place to get to the dark world from here. It's going to be in Kakariko Village, isn't it? You know, there are nine of those warps, and I can't remember where any of them are except for the one in Kakariko. On the top of Death Mountain. Oh, there's the one on top of Turtle Rock. That's the bunch of pegs that you have to smack in the right order. I also can't remember what that order is, so... <laughs> So here I'm going to get the purple chest, which just follows you around. Where you're supposed to go with it. Don't fall down at any places, and we'll come with you. Uh oh, I can't go that way. Can I if I'm mirrored to the light world, though? Yes, I think so. Which is good, because I'm supposed to go to the light world with it. Take it down to that weirdo with the sign who gets upset if you pick up his sign. I suppose it's his sign. I'm not going to judge him for being upset that you picked it up and threw it. And if you think that that's unreasonable for somebody who claims to be a socialist to advocate, remember, it's uh, private property that is theft, and private property is different from personal property. You can own personal property. A missile. Alright. I will mark off that I've done that. And now, to get to the Swamp Palace, the best place to go is probably going to be in the Swamp, in the Light World. There's a tile in the north part, so that's where we're going to go. Those warp tiles aren't marked on this map, by the way. So I'm using either my memory, or I have to look them up somewhere else. <laughs> Take back out my good old hitting stick.
Okay, I should probably save. Pull out something a little more useful. Let's get to it. Drain the floodgate to raise the water here. Okay. Guess where the floodgate is. So somehow the two worlds are actually connected. Even though the structures are completely different otherwise. this dungeon any easier, you're wrong. Oh yeah, that only shoots when you swipe. Luckily, it only shoots in cardinal directions. <laughs> I don't even need to mark that off because that's the lower tier of this. Ugh, that 
That's annoying. Maybe not. It was the last switch crystal I found. Now we're gonna figure out how to get around. There's still that place with the... Uh... Okay, nothing doing.
worries me that I'm going to have to lower that floodgate too. To get down into the tiny little alcove. Oh well. If I do, I do. Skull down there. That's my next key. But that's not a difficult problem to solve. Just an annoying one. Now we are left with the conclusion that there is a key somewhere in this dungeon. That either I've accidentally locked off. Or that actually doesn't take me where I think it goes. No, it does. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to exit the dungeon altogether. Did I miss a place downstairs? No. Now that should reset the floodgates on the inside. Let's go off screen and back on. Just to be sure.
Well, that doesn't reset the inside floodgates. Take one last sweep through this dungeon, and I'm going to save and quit. If I can't find a key, I might have to reset the whole dungeon. So I've got this sneaking suspicion it's in that one skull. tongues, just to be sure. here. Activate that. Open the floodgate. Go around. Her shield actually blocks those. I still feel like there's a secret associated with pulling on one of those statue's tongues. Well, how to heck? Thank you. 
<laughs> nice. One arrow. Hurrah! Okay. <laughs> awesome. Man, did I feel clever when I was a 12 year old playing that? Math year old when I was playing this originally. Uh. Is there any way to beat them from up here? Thought that would do it. No. What's up? I've got a golden sword and I'm here to wreck your stuff. Passed through me twice. A power bomb. about blue or red crystal. So they've got sort of a blue slash red to go in. That makes sense. Blue slash red, pandit, not crystal. Jeez. 
Misery Mire, no way in, no way out. Two Hylians enter, one Hylian leaves. So the next place I'm going to go is the Ice Palace, which if I recall correctly, you can only access from the Light World. Oh yeah, and there's also a non-consequential item here that I should be getting. If I can actually select the mirror. Heart piece. That puts me at two over my last. Okay. And here is the place where you get into the ice palace. Through here. Have I been through Lake Hylia yet? Lake Hylia's cave. Cannot recall. Ah, well. Let's try it first. Don't think there's anything in here anyway. Right. Because all of her upgrades were scattered around the various chests. Fire Rod or Bombos. I swear, every one of those, I'm gonna try pulling its tongue. guys' names are these Kappa-looking penguin things. I might have to stop streaming after I'm done this palace, though. Which is not a bad chunk of the way to get through the game.
knock them down, and then bomb them dead. It's nice of it to tell you exactly what you need to do there. possible, but it takes an absurd amount of time to use the properties of the dash to hover across pits. First of all, that block is suspicious. Secondly, this feels dangerous. Yipe. probably just to make people like me die. Do I have the map yet? I do not. Also, what the heck? supposed to have equipment. Thank <laughs> you. 
I want to go south first because that was open. Jeez. Aw oh, man. Aw oh, jeez. Twenty rupees. Thank you for that. That was important. Save because I have a bad feeling. Alright, stop. Collaborate and listen. I suspect with my brand new invention. I really feel like this guy is a bad guy. hand side. I'm just gonna fall. Every time I hear a reference to Ice Ice Baby, of course I think of Under Pressure. Thank you. 
missiles. find the next switch. <laughs> that was close. Saved in this room because again it gives me a bad feeling. Why? I'm not sure. All the rest of them give me even worse feelings. Trying to go downward. And yet, I think in this case, upward's the only way to get downward. Perhaps I am just grossly incorrect on all counts.
I need to go back downstairs. left and then up. Get up. So now I need to find the last crystal place. Magic would be helpful. Thank you! <laughs> Pony would be great. Now I get ten, or, uh, ten arrows instead. Ten horses. <laughs> Up is a trap. Right, it has two exits upward. Down is nothing. Now down is an exit upward. find a switch crystal up here, I don't know what to do. Well, that poses an interesting problem.
Okay, so I can't get any higher than this. That's the furthest I can go. I can't hook shot across here. There's gotta be another one somewhere else in the dungeon. They don't expect us to have to be able to do things like pit hover. That might be the place where I'm supposed to pull on the tongue. the tongues. <laughs> and they got the compass. the noise, but I love the range. I'm getting messages. Oh, 
still everything handled. Cool. This means that that earlier trick does not work. Alright, I think I'm going to pause streaming for a while because it's been well over to, uh, three hours and I want to try to keep my parts fairly consistent. So I'm going to save, stop, and I will resume streaming sometime later. Uh, I'm also getting a little hungry, so I might as well get some lunch. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again when I'm a little less frustrated and a little less angry.